Good morning, happy Friday. Today I'm gonna to be doing a full day of eating on a training day. So I haven't been actually posting a lot, but I wanna get back onto YouTube. I wanna show more of my journey and just share with you guys my reverse diet, the ups, the downs, the weight gain, and just some of my thoughts around how I'm navigating this time. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so we are nine weeks post-show. This is what we're currently looking like. I'm was 118 this morning, which show day I was 114, so we were about four pounds up. And I feel really good. You know, obviously I'm getting softer, but I actually really love filling out a lot more because I feel like I'm getting curvier. My glutes are coming back and it just feels nice to be able to fit into clothes again versus just having things fall off. But I'm feeling really good, I'm happy. Obviously there's gonna be days where I have body dysmorphia because it's not easy to see your body go up in weight, to get softer, but this is something that I've learned that comes with post-show, the post-dieting phase, and so I'm just sharing some of my thoughts on how I feel because it's normal, you know, it's normal to have those bad body days. Those feelings are temporary, they're going to come and go, but it does not define your worth, and I know that I am more than that. So. Even the, on those days that I feel not my best, I know that that's not how I look. It's okay to feel not good in your body some days. First order of business, we're gonna get our greens in. Cheers, my love. Cheers! I always use a straw. Is it YouTube? Yeah. It's a full day of eating. Why do you use a straw? Because I like to stir it. I put glutamine in here, which is good for gut health. And then it gets all clunky on the bottom, so I like to stir it, and I just feel fancy when I eat the straw. That's it. It's great for the gut health. I'm <laughs> dancing. You're dancing. Goomba! Goomba thinks I'm good. This is my breakfast. Egg whites, whole eggs. And the reason why I started adding whole eggs is because whole eggs have really good healthy fats. The yolk is so good for you. There's, there's a myth that egg yolks are bad for you. It's gonna make you have high cholesterol, but that's not actually true. You have to eat like a shit ton of egg yolks to have that actually happen. And for those that don't know, I'm actually trying to get my period back right now. So my fats are pretty high and I'm adding in more egg yolks. I'm adding in more avocados, some avocado toast. And so healthy fats are just gonna really help with your hormones, which is something that I'm working towards right now. And then I have some strawberries as well. And then everything, that I eat with my meals, Tabasco is number one. I put this on everything, so you'll always see me carrying this around. But for this whole entire meal, <clears throat> it is 450 calories, it's 55 carbs, 15 fat, and 27 protein. I eat this up, let it digest, work on some client things before I eat my next meal. It is almost one o'clock now, I'm gonna make some lunch. And I'm just going to put together a sandwich because this is something that's just really easy for me and it doesn't take a lot of time and I don't have to cook a lot of stuff, which is nice. First thing I'm going to do... I've been really liking sourdough bread lately and I don't know about you guys, but the tanginess of it just tastes so good for me. But a big thing that I do when I'm eating food is I actually really care about the nutritional value of it hashtag health, but sourdough, because of the fermentation process, it's actually really good for your digestion, and it also is really good because of the, something about the yeast, I don't remember exactly, but it's just supposed to be really good for your hormone health as well. So I'm gonna do two slices of this bread. One thing I also do is I always weigh my bread because since I track my food, Bread, I feel like, always is way heavier. So, for example, one slice is supposed to be 49 grams. And so, here's one slice, okay? When I weigh it, it's 53 grams. So, let me show you. Look at that. 55 grams. 50, okay, keep changing. But, a serving is 49 grams. So, you can see, a lot of times, things are definitely inaccurate if you're not weighing your food but sometimes I don't care I'll just take out two slices if I'm not 
going on a diet or if I'm not tracking my calories. But if you are trying to lose weight and actually see progress, it's so important to track your food and know how much you're putting into your body because this is what's actually going to make a big difference in your body composition. This is 112 grams. Okay, that's way better. I don't have a tripod yet, so I'm playing around with everything so far. So now I'll have my turkey breast. This one's from Trader Joe's. And I like turkey breast because like deli meat, because I don't have to cook my chicken and it's so convenient for me. Especially because I have like back-to-back -back things I need to do. So from working from home, it's a lot easier for me to just have things that are more convenient. And I know a lot of times people say, oh, well, that's processed. I honestly don't care because it makes my life easier. And that way, I don't have to stress about cooking things all the time because if I don't have time to cook and I'm hungry, then I'm just going to eat whatever I see. So, okay. And then afterwards, I'm going to put some avocado on it and then build my sandwich and then show you the final product. I'll also do a taste test because for some reason, there's some people that really like when people are eating and they like watching people eating. I am one of those people. I love to watch full days of eatings. I love to watch, you know, like those 10,000 10, calorie challenges. So something about seeing people eat is just, I don't know. It makes me feel like I'm there with them. So I'm gonna show you guys my bite as well. Also just a pro tip, when tracking foods, what I like to do is put what I'm using on the scale. I'll tear it then whatever I use and put on the sandwich, that's how much I track into my fitness pal. I have 26. I put that all on my sandwich. So now I'm gonna go ahead and track 26 grams. Look at that. Yum. Also added two Brazil nuts to this because health. But I added in two Brazil nuts as well because Brazil nuts are gonna be really good for your thyroid health. And if you guys aren't familiar with what your thyroid does, it's the thing that helps regulate your metabolism. So if you feel like you have a slow metabolism, if you're someone who has been dieting for a long time, or you just feel like your body's not responding to the food that you eat, no matter how much you work out, this is gonna be a great way to start, but it's only going to help if you have an underactive thyroid. So. That is why I add in Brazil nuts because it's just really good for my health. So. Yeah, so good. Uh. All right, you guys, it is about three o'clock now, but I'm gonna have a little snack because I'm trying to upload some content right now, but I'm in a flow state and sometimes I don't like to stop what I'm doing to eat a full meal. And I'm actually really hungry right now. So I'm going to do a little snack, which is this perky brownie. And they're really, really good if you guys haven't tried them. I also have a code. It's Deanna. Shameless plug. But I really like these. The macros are really good on them. They're 220 calories, 19 grams of protein. So it's going to be a little nice snack before I go to the gym later on. But I want to finish editing some content. And then go from there. It's about probably 30, 45 minutes after I had my brownie, but I'm so hungry. And I feel like my metabolism is going really fast right now because I'm noticing that when I have smaller meals, I'm not full or satisfied yet. So I'm gonna have an apple. But one thing I've noticed is that in the past, I used to eat a lot of smaller meals, like a lot of small snacks, but those didn't fill me up enough. And I found myself still feeling hungry, you know? So then I ended up overeating because those small snacks actually made me more hungry versus if I just had like a full on meal with protein, carbs, fats, and fiber, which like this little bar is not enough to keep me satiated, you know? So I'm gonna add an apple to my full day of eating. There's probably like a medium sized apple, I'd say like around 20 grams of carbs. So I'm gonna eat this, but just a tracking tip. I do track my macros. And something that has helped me is pre-tracking my food in a tracking app. I use my fitness pal like the night before. That way you know exactly what you're gonna eat for the full day. Since it is a Friday today and it's the weekend, 
I typically am a little bit more flexible. I like to eat out on the weekends because it just helps with my mental sanity of not eating the same things every single day. But if it's like a normal work day, then I typically have everything pre tracked already. That way it's easier for me and I don't have to think about it. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and... Mmm. Apples are so good. Finish working. And then go to the gym afterwards. And we are about to go to the gym. It's so dark already. I hate that it gets so dark at this time. But I want to show you guys. So typically before I work out, I always eat cream of rice. So I am making that right now. But I'm going to add a scoop of protein powder to that. I always use... All max because the flavors just taste really good and it mixes really well with my cream of rice. So let me show you what I have right here. This is our bowl. I have cream of rice. I already cooked it. I'm going to go ahead and add some protein powder and then some almond butter. And what I do is I always add salt to my meals. For pre-workout especially, if you're someone who is training really hard, you want to make sure you're getting salt in because that's going to help with any cramps. It's going to help with endurance, but also... It makes your food taste better. So I typically wait about an hour before I go to the gym and then I'll have my dinner afterwards. This is the final product. I put some almond butter in there. So look how thick this bowl is. It is so good, you guys. I will eat this every single day for the rest of my life. We are back from the gym. It is now 8 o'clock. So it's been quite a while since I had my pre-workout meal. So now we are having our post workout. I'm having a post-workout meal now. I keep it pretty simple. It's chicken, rice, and lots of, of veggies. I actually put it, put some avocado on it right now. Typically, I don't do fats post-workout because it slows down the, the digestion of protein. But because I have a lot of fats left, I want to make sure that I'm putting that in early because I'm getting kind of tired and I want to eat more later on. I do like a little small snack later on because you know I can't miss out on my ice cream. Tegan's eating red curry tonight. I'm eating a box of rice. But he was just complaining to me how we only have one actual good I always scale. have to wait. He I'm really like trying to make my food. I'm trying to be a good person and be a good tracker and wait to make my food. But I'm just like... Well, Tegan puts his bowl and there. She's weighing, she's weighing a nut one by one. What? One by one nut. I'm just like, this is taking like five minutes. Tegan puts his stuff on the scale and then walks away. Nothing I in was it. getting something else and she like walks in and moves it away. It's like, <laughs> mine now. Well, anyways, one, you guys, one, one. I'm having my snack now. And we're doing 35 grams of these sweet fake glazed cashews. And they're so freaking good. If you guys have a Target and can find these, please try them. Thank me later. We're doing a serving of that, which is about like 10 grams of that. Really good macros. And they taste delicious. <laughs> they look so cuddly. We're now finishing off our macros. This is our macro cap for the night. I'm doing two hold the cones, one chocolate chip, one vanilla, because I like variety. But these are really good macros and they taste really good. They taste like legit ice cream. So it's a really nice way to grow my cravings. But I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating. I want to put the total macros on the screen because I didn't I realized I didn't even say what macros were for like my last two meals, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't know what else. Subscribe if you like this video. Subscribe if you like this video. If Just you want to hear some other things or see some other stuff, put it in the comments below.